Hello everyone, we will continue the topic database operation and in the previous video, we finished with insert database operation. Now we will come on to delete database operation. So firstly, what we will do, I'll just run the program. Now, what is the purpose of delete database operation? Its purpose is to delete the records from the database table. And what is our requirement? We will delete one order number at a time. Okay, so customer will pass the order number. And if the order number is valid, if the input is valid, we will delete that order number from the database table. So whenever user will put the order number and choose the delete radio button, we will delete that order number from database table. Now suppose if I will show you the database table. Now what is our requirement? We want to delete a specific order number from database table. Suppose if I'm giving order number one and choose delete radio button, it means I want to delete order number one. Nothing should happen to other order numbers. If I'm giving order number 10, it means I want to delete that specific order number 10 only. Yes, I do not want to go for other order numbers. Now, in case of delete operation, there is no need for all these things. In case of insert, yes, we want to go for all these inputs, all these input. But whenever you want to go for delete, you can pass a order number and you can delete because order number is the primary key of the table. Suppose simple example, there is one employee of the organization. If I want to delete the record of that employee, I can simply, simply only pass the employee ID. There is no need for other things. Same case is here. In case of delete, we will only only pass the order number. There is no need for rest of the things. Now, again, we will make use of a event and it will be full revision of the classical report event. Whenever we have delete radio button is ticked, I want to make these four things as invisible, invisible. You all know very, very well, whenever you want to modify the selection screen or input screen, you will make use of which particular event at selection screen output, at selection screen output. At the initial level, I told this is just like a mini project itself in which we will handle so many scenarios. Whenever delete radio button will be ticked, I want to make these four things as disable or you can say invisible. And whenever you want to modify the selection screen or input screen, we will always, always make use of which event at selection screen output. So we will make use of that particular event. So I will go for add selection screen output. It's just a full revision. You are getting a chance to use all those classical report event. So I will write add selection screen output. Now we all know very, very well that we have a SAP predefined structure. What is the name of the structure screen? In this screen, all layout elements will come one by one. Suppose if I will run the program in that screen, this order number, this, 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 all four radio buttons will come one by one. 
and i want to make these four things as disable as disable in the previous video yes if you want more clarity requesting yes please please listen the videos of at selection screen output in this playlist itself now at that time we covered one concept of modif id modif id we will assign modif id to this particular parameter means order date to this parameter to this parameter to this parameter and we will use that modif id you all know very very well whenever you are going for modif id it will be assigned to this also this also modif id will be assigned to this also this also if we are going for total amount it will be assigned to this also this also it will be assigned to this also this also so we will make these four things as disable or invisible by using the concept of modif id so i will firstly assign a modif id to order date i am writing modif id suppose for the order date modif id is a1 suppose you can give any name it's your wish suppose for the payment mode modif id is a2 for the total amount suppose modif id is a3 for the total for the currency suppose modif id is a4 now we will simply simply put a loop loop at screen loop at screen loop at screen now in this screen all layout elements will come one by one and you want to hide you want to make which four things as invisible order date payment mode total amount currency in case of which database operation delete so what is the radio button for delete what is the radio button for delete if p underscore r2 is equal to capital x because we do not want to hide or make invisible for other things in case of delete only we want to do this and if now i will show you each and i will show you firstly in the debugging mode then we will write the logic for the same so now firstly i will put a breakpoint i will run i'll just go to execute suppose i am giving some order number i am going for delete suppose i am going to execute now second radio button is ticked now second radio button is ticked now in this screen all layout elements will come one by one and whatever the modif id we assign just see how that modif id will be now i am doing f5 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 you can see firstly we have order number firstly we have order number just see order number now then we have this p underscore o number where we are passing the value of order number now we will go for next thing then we have order date order date have you seen whatever the modif id we assigned it is going into what group 1 group 1 of the group 1 of this particular structured screen now we will go for next now same to same a1 is assigned to this also that's why we are going for modif id once you go for modif id it will be assigned to this also it will be assigned to this also now we will go next 
Now we have payment mode for the payment mode, but the modif ID we gave A2. So A2 assigned to this also, A2 assigned to this also. All layout elements are coming one by one. We have A2 for this. Then we have total amount. You can see for total amount, what is the total amount? What is the modif ID A3? It is going to what? Group one. Now we have A3 assigned to this total amount input field also. Then we have A4. A4 is for what? Currency. Now we have A4 for this also. So when you assign the modif ID, it is going into group one column of the screen. And if you want more clarity in add selection screen output, I put so much stress at that time of the, to explain the concept of modif ID. But again, we are revising the same to same thing. So if modif ID is A2, A1, A2, A3, and A4, we want to make these four things as disable, as disable, as invisible in case of which particular database operation, delete, delete. So what I will do, we will write the logic for the same. Now, what we will do, if delete radio button is ticked, now we will write if screen hyphen group one screen hyphen group one is equal to but the group one what is the modif id a1 we all saw in the debugging mode now yes what is the modif id modif id is going to which particular column of the screen group one or modif id is equal to a2 because we want to hide all those things payment mode order date payment mode total amount and currency what is third thing third thing is your a3 then we have a3 and then we have A4. A4. So whenever the screen one, screen group one value will be A1, A2, A3, A4, we want to make those things as disabled, disabled. And if I will go to screen, you can see, we have a particular column active active you all know very well if active is equal to zero it means that that is not active if active is equal to one it means it is active we want to make them inactive so but the active we will put we will put active is equal to zero so i will write screen hyphen active is equal to zero. Now, never, never forget to modify the screen because after making them inactive, you need to modify the screen. You need to modify. Now we will check the syntax and activate. And if you want more, more clarity, just requesting, please listen the videos of add selection screen output. Here we are just implementing the concept. So what is the summary of the video? In this video, what the requirement we have taken that in case of delete, only order number is required. Rest other things are not required at all. So what we are doing, whenever we have delete radio button is ticked, we will hide these four things. We will make these four things inactive. So what we have done, we all know very well, whenever you want to, yes, 
modify the selection screen or input screen, you can always, always make use of add selection screen output event. And in add selection screen output event, firstly, we assign the modif ID to these particular four parameters because we want to make these four parameters inactive. And we saw in the debugging mode that whatever the modif ID we provided, it is going to group one column of the screen. So whenever the group one value is A1, A2, A3, A4, we put active is equal to zero and we modified the screen. In the next video, we will proceed and check the output in the debugging mode. So that's it in this video. Thank you.